bought a bunch or three different kinds of fans for the inside of our boat. Right now we have three different um, Caframo Auras. And they were actually in the last video where I was taking, I was cleaning one of them. And they're okay. They, um, they get dirty really easily and they're kind of rattly. So we wanted to see if we could find something that worked a little better. And in the process of looking, I actually found something that I'm hoping is going to be really awesome. It's a Vetus um, fan, and it mounts to your, well, it's going to mount to our vents, our door aid vents. So it'll pull air, actually pulls air out of the boat. So hopefully that will be, we're going to start, we're going to do this one in the head um, since there's no ventilation in there. Then the other one we, we're going to try is this small Hella Turbo. We have another Hella, and it's an oscillating one, and it works pretty good, but it doesn't put out a lot of air, but it's quiet. This one um, doesn't oscillate, but we'll see. It's a little smaller than this giant other one that we got, which is another Caframo. I didn't realize it was so big. This thing's huge, so I don't even know where we would put it. Anyway, so we're going to basically try these out and see which ones we like best. So this is the giant uh, Caframo Scirocco 2. And it's actually got a timer, like 3, 6, 9, and 12 hours. It has, I think, three different speeds. And kind of thinking about where we want to put it. Um, we're going to put it, we decided we're going to put it in a galley. We're going to mount it right here. It'll still clear this area. You can always push it back against the bulkhead. And then when you want to use it, you can swing it out. You can point it anywhere you need it, up and around, all that. So this thing comes with a, back, a backing plate that you mount to the wall first. And once you're happy with the location, you peel off the sticky tape, slap it on the wall, stick some screws in, good to go. And once you get it on, like that, then you put in a couple of screws. And then flip the lever. Actually, I think this thing ratchets. It's got locking ratchets, so it's not a friction. Like that many degrees, that far, 90 degrees. But the head's the head also turns and swivels and does pretty much any direction you need to point it when you're standing sweating in the galley. Turn it this way, turn it that way. I haven't got the wiring hooked up yet, so I'm still gonna mess with this and run it into this area right here. Just to let you know, got the wire chased in, it comes down here, runs behind here. I had to take this strip down to the shed and route out a little channel on the back and guide it down to the new fan wire location. So I got a couple of wires to hook up. Turn all the breakers back on. Make sure all the lights work, all that good stuff. And so you gotta lower, you gotta release that cam because it locks into every, every position, it locks. But then you can swing this, pivot it, do that. Got three speeds. It also has a timer. Here's a new galley fan. Oh, you tell me. You're standing there. You feel it? I can feel. Is that the high? Is that on high? That's high speed. That's low. Hour off. Low. Medium. High. Yeah, I feel it. Good it's time. actually not that noisy. Mm -mm. It's pretty quiet. And then when you're done with it, turn it off. Slap it against the galley wall out of the way. So we just tested out these two fans here for the, for the inside the salon and then the galley. The and Hella and the Scirocco. This one's the Hella Turbo and there's no blade guard on the back but I guess that makes it easier to clean. It's you know. quiet, it doesn't rattle. It's quiet, yeah. Okay, I'm not real keen on the way the wire comes out of this relative to the open back with no guard system whatsoever. You still got to maintain a little bit of slack. 
in the line in the wire so that you can tip it back and forth or you know rotate it around and whatnot and there is a potential for this wire just dangling there so temporarily you have it wire netted yeah. and then you're gonna zip tie the wire kind of out of the way I'm trying yeah let's start it up quite a bit of air. Yeah, I feel, feel it, big time. Yeah, it's good. It's quiet. So this is, a, this is the little Vetus electric ventilator and its specific design is to pull air out. So basically all it is is a little 12 volt computer fan and a fancy little white grate. So... Not very pretty. No. Basically it goes up here and it sits here and you've got a speed switch on off and it sucks air out and blows it out the, the door aid vent. It's close enough to here. I've already got uh, the lighting wire right here, 12 volt. I do have to take this thing down, find some different screws for this, drill and tap it to fit the three screw arrangement on the white housing. And then I can install this, have a drop wire coming through the tube here from the light fixture. Okay, so now I gotta drill and tap three holes so that this thing screws to there. Got it. So I have a fan installed on the little metal donut that goes up to the ceiling. So the donut will screw on first, then these will screw into their various holes, uh, the three holes that I drilled and tapped. Now I'm back in the head getting ready to install the little vent fan and to do that run the wires from the light fixture to the the hole in the ceiling for the door aid box we gotta take down the headliner Fun part because I'm too lazy to take down the headliner. I'm just gonna fish this wire through. So the weird thing about this fan is the wires have to be on the inside of the hole through the door aid vent. So I gotta make room for the wires to pass through be on the inside, all the connectors up on the inside so that we can take this fan down again. Okay, so now I put the new connector on, splice the fan wire into this lead. connections here are now hot. Now I am going to turn off the breaker so I don't blow, blow up the fan. Now I have to install the stainless steel trim ring that goes up here. So what I'm using to make this connection so that I can, well, they're waterproof, they're full of grease. If need be, I can cut them off and shorten everything. They're grease-filled telephone connectors. And you stick the wires in and you pinch it down, pinch that red dot down with a pair of pliers. This fan's actually set up to suck air out of the head. So when I put it up, it'll all, uh, it'll draw fresh air in through, we've got louver doors here, and it'll continually cycle air out through the top. So let's uh, pop these things back together. Alright. 
two speed van, that's high, that's low. Boat ventilation, just like in your, just like in your house. All right, let's put it all back together. So I'm up here on deck now, and this fan, this little fan does put out quite a bit of air. So I think it'll be good for ventilating the head. Uh, back in the past, we cut out some squares of this mosquito netting. Keeps all the, uh, keeps all the bugs from coming into all of our screens and vents. And the last thing I gotta do is put it all back together. All we did was take a little piece of stainless steel wire and twist it around, cover up the vent. installing these fans about a week ago and it's been pretty hot so we've used it several times um, and I think the verdict is that this one is our favorite the only downside is that you can't use it all you know, for every application because it's just really it's big it's a big fan um, but I really like the the different settings you can move it all around it goes in every direction haven't really used the timer it wasn't really even a feature that we thought about when we bought it um, but it moves a lot of air and it does keep this area really cool which is nice um, I don't think we ever showed um, the other Hella that we had this is the Scirocco um, that other Hella that we installed a long time ago this oscillating one is this one and we like this one too this is this one works nice but it just doesn't move a lot of air so if you're sitting here at the nav station and this is probably this this works fine it will blow on you you can point it straight down um, it works a little bit for the galley too but mostly it's for the nav station then the hella turbo that we just installed is this one and we actually haven't used it that much but it's definitely a lot quieter than the the Boras, the Kefremo Boras that we have. So, kind of wish we'd gotten more of these. They're a little smaller too, which is nice. Um, and it's definitely quieter. And then, this is the, these are the Boras that we originally got. These ones. And these, these ones we don't really like that much. And then the last fan that we did was the Vetus uh, ventilator. In here. And in here it run um, you don't really feel anything with this one um, it definitely moves the air because when you go up top and put your hand over the cowl vent you can definitely feel the air coming out um, so I think what the verdict is for these fans is we really like the Scirocco best um, it's just the only downside is how big it is so if you have a bigger area that you can put it um, it definitely be the one to go with Thanks for watching our ventilation video. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for other videos on all this DIY retrofit stuff we're doing to our boat. SVRamblon.com. Thanks.